What's going on guys and welcome back to the Aspie World. This is like a uh, short video just because it's um, Autism Awareness Week and I wanted to really uh, crush it in a video today for you guys as a reaction to something. So the National Autistic Society released a video called Diverted and it, it follows a path of this young girl who's wanting to travel on public transport. Now being um, on the spectrum myself and knowing how much the uh, public transport anxiety gets to me, I can really relate to this video. So what I wanted to do is just kind of like watch the video with you guys right now on this video and just discuss what's going on here. So without further ado, I'm going to go play this video and it will appear in the corner here somewhere or the video will appear somewhere and I'm going to react to it. So yeah, let's let's get on with this. Okay, so she's putting on makeup, she's tapping. <laughs> I do the same when I tap my fingers as well when I'm... Oh. Okay, so she's thinking about going on the train. Yeah. Okay, so this is this is interesting. So there's um, she's she's on the train, but the train it's kind of like showing a, a shock, kind of like a oh, horror um, issue where the the idea of being on a train and having loads of sensory input for noises from the conductor to the lights on the train to the people you know clicking their pens and playing with the newspapers and stuff. This can be really overwhelming and kind of sensory overloading. Okay, so everything's starting to get a bit too much right now in the video, so she's um, feeling the, the, the increased noise levels, the increased uh, amounts of people in there, there's a lot of different things going on, and it's not just the people that are making noise, it's the things that they're doing, so one guy's doing the paper, the other guy's talking, somebody else is eating a hamburger or whatever, somebody else is just like looking at them or talking to somebody else, and all these things, your mind's trying to focus on all these little pieces, so let's carry on with the video. I'm autistic and the fear of unexpected changes can make leaving the house impossible. So in the video she's basically talking about the fear of unexpected changes. Now it, she, so she gets out, she, she puts on a coat to go out to, to, to the train station and go on a train and go to a journey. She imagines herself going to this journey and thinking like, okay, this is, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to go on this train, I'm going to go on this journey. But then she's thinking, okay, well, there's going to be people on the train who are going to be making noises and then there's going to be unexpected changes, which are like a big trigger. Um, so there's going to be, there may be a delay on the train. I mean, look, imagine you're you're planning something out and, you know, people with autism, like myself, we like to have things planned out and like to know what we're doing, where we're going. The fact that there's an unexpected change could cause quite a lot of problems and issues because you know, it's, it's you've got your head and you're doing one thing and if somebody pulls the rug from under you and changes that, that's a very scary um, issue, especially when you're in, into planning and, and knowing your routines. Now, in this video, she goes from, um, you know, going through all of the, the notions of being on that train and all those sensory overload and inputs where it just feels like she's just going to explode or curl into a ball and just like disintegrate because the anxiety is so intense that she switches back into her head, she hasn't left the house and she says, look, fine, I'm not going to go on this little journey because it's just too much, you know? It's too much to handle. So, to me, I can really relate to this, because I've had this many a time. I travel with a travel buddy. Um, I also travel with my partner, Naomi. She, she comes with me when I travel. I can't really travel on trains on my own. Uh, I I can't travel long distances in the car. When I'm driving, I have to have somebody else driving, and it, there's so much like uh, um, overstimulation from sensory input that it's difficult to really get um, a sense of security or a sense of, of relaxation and calm when you're on public transport or having to travel just in general for me. So I really understand this. I think this video is very, very well done. The National Autistic Society actually hired uh, an actor who has autism uh, and she's in this video obviously doing this. I will link the video below so you guys can actually check it out for yourself and not just listen to me take my word for it. Um, but yeah, go and check it out. Give their video a thumbs up and uh, let me know. Come back to this video and let me know what you thought of the video. I'd love to know because you know I'm opening a discussion here. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a, uh, a really nice video that they've put out and it's nice for them to do things like this and I'm so glad that they're actually using social media to do things like this. Um, but yeah. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to me and uh, without further ado guys, I will see you next time. Peace.